Okay, so you can do a lot without having to go to the range, just practicing uh, inside your own home. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna run through my process of how I dry fire and practice inside. This really doesn't take a lot of um, time or effort, you know, at the end of the day or in the morning, whenever, just take, you know, just 10 minutes uh, you could do and just practice dry firing, drawing, and things like that. So right now I'm going to get into my process and maybe you can learn something from that. So let's go. Right now I'm going to run through my process of how I practice and dry fire inside. So first steps, as always, you're going to want to make sure everything is safe. So you're going to clear your firearm, uh, make sure no ammo is in the room you're practicing in that just make gives you it kind of gives you a barrier or just that much more of a safety bubble um, to make sure everything all the ammo is all out of the room and away from you okay so here's my carry gun um, it's already clear but what you're gonna want to do is do a visual inspection of the chamber and make sure there's no ammo in there and you're even going to want to do a physical inspection okay that's just an extra peace of mind to make sure there's absolutely i can see and feel there is no round in the chamber and obviously you're doing this with no magazine so that's a clear gun okay once you got a clear gun you make sure you separate the ammo from whatever room like i said you're doing dry firing in Okay, so after that, I like to put a little piece of tape on the wall. This gives you a point of reference uh, when you're when you're practicing your dry fire. So this will go for, you know, when you're practicing your draw, you're practicing your side alignment, anything like that. So just a little blue, whatever, I use painter's tape. So I'll just use a little blue uh, piece of tape on the wall. And that'll give me a good um, kind of reference of where I need to aim. First thing I like to practice is my trigger squeeze. So that is the main thing i see with people who are having issues with accuracy is that they don't have that um, nice crisp uh, trigger squeeze down so that is one thing you can practice over and over and over again while dry firing and you could even you could do this yourself um, and kind of self-diagnose just make sure you you know you find that wall you hold on that wall and then a nice clean pull through no slapping of the trigger or anything like that and you'll be able to see your gun um, you know move vibrate wobble around if you pull that trigger incorrectly there's kind of little strategies out there you can use some people you could put a uh, spent shell you can I'll show you right here so this is a live round obviously like I said before when you're dry firing don't put live rounds in the same room with you but just as a demonstration you can, you can set a live round up there and try to balance that as you're pulling the trigger. I've seen that strategy do, done before, um, just as a uh, visualization, just as a visualization of, you know, how much uh, your gun's moving and how clean you're pulling that trigger. All right, so another thing you can do instead of um, practicing your trigger squeeze is your sight alignment. So getting those sights um, nice and clean on target uh, that is a good thing I like to practice too. That kind of, I usually practice that in conjunction uh, with drawing, but you could have obviously kind of start at a high or low ready and get those sights right on to uh, target. Obviously using that little, you know, blue piece of tape uh, on the wall. So use that as your uh, point of impact and practice your side alignment. Like I just mentioned, uh, practicing your draw is another good one. Uh, you can just you know same thing uh, if you're practicing from concealment or from outer waistband whatever you need to do um, draw and then again find that point of impact that little piece of tape on the wall and you could even use this in conjunction um, with you know practicing nice clean trigger squeeze so you can kind of bring all these things together so nice clean draw stroke uh, I don't have a video on that yet. Uh, I can put one out in the near future, but there are plenty of videos uh, out there that show you a nice, what a nice, good, clean draw stroke looks like.
something else you can even do, which is kind of funny and fun and works quite well, is, you know, you're just sitting there watching, you know, watching TV, uh, and you can draw, you know, I don't know, at every bad guy you see on the TV. So that kind of makes it uh, less mundane, you know, just staring at a blank wall. So you could you you could definitely do that. Uh, just practice uh, drawing or dry firing right at your TV. So those are the kind of basic things I really practice um, dry firing. Uh, all these things will help you uh, you know get better on the range without actually spending any money. Again, I can't you know state this enough. Practice all your proper safety protocols. You know. At this point, if you own your own firearm, I hope you know the rules of gun safety. Uh, and when you go to do this again, make sure you have a clear gun and all the ammo is not in the same room uh, as you're practicing your um, dry firing. This, this is, I believe the second time this has happened in a video, this is, I need to, I need to figure something else out. But all right, that was a simple video, just kind of uh, how I dry fire using, you know, you know, no mantis systems, no, no extra aids. This is simply you just need your um, your handgun and you're good to go. There's other little practice strategies and stuff you can use. Um, you know, go on the internet, YouTube, great resource for information. But um, you know have fun with it look at different ways you can train these are kind of the three main things i do um and i'm gonna be honest this has helped the most with my shooting just practicing dry firing i've dry fired more than i probably have actually shot live rounds so definitely definitely do this this will 110 percent get you better you just need to do it consistently practice um, and you will you will absolutely get better. So that's it. I just wanted to share with you um, how I dry fire, how I um, drastically improved my shooting. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Leave me a like. That always helps. Uh, other than that, um, I'll see you in my next video.